Zubi dubi zubi dubi pam para, zubi dubi param pam. Zubi dubi zubi dubi na che ke pagal stupid man. Zubi dubi zubi dubi pam para, zubi dubi param pam. Welcome to the second video for Squad Junior tutorial. This is Jimmy from Conan School, so let's dive into it. In this video, we're gonna create our first ever project and I will show you all the details how to walk you through to make your own characters and make it move and make it play. Uh, the name of this first project is the Dance Party. And then to create our first video, let's go to the uh, Home button. Then to create, because this is the first install, so there is no project. Normally if you have created project before then you will be able to see the list of your project here. But now as it is the first time then we create our first one by clicking on the plus button. Then here we go. Now this is how the interface looks like. And then to create our first uh, project it is a real first project but we can add many characters and many stuff here it is the programming area and those are the programming blocks where we can make our characters move so let's remove this guy first and create our first characters I'd like to add the background first this is where we can add the backgrounds you know this uh, place we can see the landscape all right so now, uh, as it is a dance party, I'm gonna take the theater background. You can customize it as you want from here and create your own by clicking in the pencil button. But let's take this one as we are going to have a dance party. Now let's add our characters. Alright, so we have a bunch of characters here, but I prefer to take a rabbit and, okay, let's take Mr. Rabbit and I'm going to give him a name, uh, okay, I'll call him Caven. You can customize it or change the color if you'd like. You can change the color from here if you want. I'm gonna leave it like n it is for the moment and I'm gonna add another character so I will take um, mm -mm -mm, I'm gonna take a dog I'll leave him here for the moment you can um, drag him as you want the place you want him to be I can change it I can give him a name as my name. I'm a dog person and I love dogs, so I'm gonna give him an, my name, Jimmy. All right. So now we have our two characters. What remains to do is just to make them move. But before everything, let's save our project so that we we can start over where we left off when we go back to this. Uh, application of Scratch Junior, so you can save it by clicking the home button on the top r uh, left. This one, just click it. Then, yes, we have our first project. Then we can. This is our first project. Now, let's go directly to how to make them move. To start, we have those bunch of programming blocks. But to make it start, we'll just have to click on this yellow button and you drag the green flag. That means the start. The same here, but I'm going to finish first for the dog, Mr. Jimmy, and then later we'll go for Kevin. Well, yes, we have a lot here, but to make him move, this is the flash, uh, this arrow. All right. And okay, let's try to make Mr. Dog move. Okay, he's uh, actually, let's make him turn to the right, to the left first. 
Mm -hmm. We can add a lot more here. This is actually just a basic one for the moment, just for you to see. And you know, to run this uh, block of program uh, programming blocks, you just click on the green button on the top right. You see, yeah, he start moving. So okay, we can do the same for Mr. Kevin. All right, as I told you, just bring the green flag, then add a bunch of. Uh, okay, I will explain later. Just our main goal for this first video is just to show you how to make them move. But later on, we go deep in details, and you will see that it is really fun. And yeah, we can make him say uh, speak. Let's bring this. Okay, I will. Hey, Jimmy. So that he will be able to say hello to his friend Jimmy. And yeah, I will. So you just have okay in this part you will be able to see uh, this is the purple button like there is a small guy here and you'll be able to zoom in in and this is zoom out so uh, I will make him say hello as well but you know if you run this they will say hello at the same time so let's say hello Kevin so for them to say like you say uh, Kevin say first hey Jimmy and then uh, Jimmy will reply hey Kevin you just have to make a small delay here of let's say five seconds okay and let's run and you'll see how fun it is hey Kevin hey Jimmy all right yeah let's start moving so it's really short right you can make it on a for loop, I mean on a loop that they will keep moving like four, three times as you like. This is how we do it. On uh, I don't know, it is orange. Yeah, the orange button. Then you click this. Then you will have this kind of like a loop. You grab it and you know you drag it and put it after hello. Then he will start moving like four times you can make it two times then he will continue doing it two times you see mr jimmy is moving a little longer than kevin and we can do the same here for mr kevin the rabbit okay then he will be start moving i will make it three times so that is actually basically how we can uh, make our characters move but at the same time I'll, uh, I'll just add a, a little title for our theater so I will make uh, dance party yeah yeah and I can customize it and place it where I want okay you can just you know it is saved by clicking here as I told you so let's save it to be safe so okay it's now saved and let's try to make them move together hey Jimmy hey Kevin all right so okay uh, rabbit is a bit dancing longer so I'll put this to two uh, just add the zoom in and zoom out it will make it more fun let's see hey Jimmy hey Kevin all right perfect we can adjust all of it just for the first video uh, just wanted to show you how to make them move and customize your first ever project but on the next video I'm going to show you how to add audio and how to make it consistent so thank you for watching this video and see you guys on the next one